Anthony and my boy Christopher the Cons and my boy Don what? over here and we are Break Room Blitz baby represent you representing over there Ye-ye. but it was Star Wars Day that's what I like to call it yeah. <laughs> anytime Star Wars come out of Star Wars Day but I think that's like May Fourth but it's still May the Fourth yeah it's, uh, it's still Star Wars Day very Star Wars Christmas special. definitely so we just came back from seeing Rogue One a Star Wars story great movie. Great movie. It was definitely felt awesome. like Star Wars. It felt like Star it was Wars amazing. in a whole new light. Yeah. <laughs> definitely a whole new light. Yeah. Got to see the story behind how they got those plans. Intense. Lives those intense. Into it. Yeah. A lot of lives. Yeah, way yeah. down for them plans. Oh yeah. Ooh, you know, it's just like a whole like like its own Star Wars war movie. You know. Yeah. Was, yeah. I could definitely. say a lot of it was kind of unpredictable too. Like as I watched the movie, certain things happened. I'm just like, okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Right. Hmm. And and I must say, watching the trailer really threw me off because yeah. there were some things that I kind of automatically assumed that would happen that happened completely different or didn't happen at all. I can't believe that Star Wars would do that to us. Yeah. So I mean, gimmicky ass trailer. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, they, they, absolutely. I think they cut out like a lot of parts. In the Lucky trailer. it was still good. Yeah, oh, it was really it, good. It, it was really good. But I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it in the director's cut. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it was there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go. I liked it a lot. It's a lot of intellectual value. It's uh, it's a lot of drama and action in there so you get kind of both worlds there uh, we definitely get to see you know what goes on into getting these plans and you know how these people came together how they were you know kind of separate and they came together and then got the plans you know so I really did like that it wasn't just kind of rushed it definitely wasn't rushed it took the time with it and I really enjoyed that movie for sure I got my intellectual value I got my drama I got my emotions and I got my action baby oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So no. cool. Does so, it make it your favorite Star Wars uh, movie? It's definitely not my favorite Star Wars movie. I'm not sure who's going around saying that. It's my favorite Star Wars movie this year. <laughs> that. I can say that, but not of all time for sure. Uh, if I had to rate it, yeah, I would probably give it a 7.5 for me. It was. I mean, it was a decent movie. It had its little, you know, shaky moments, but I mean, it's, it's still. I still enjoyed it. It wasn't like it was a bad. Right. You know, yeah. Star Wars movie. They didn't let right. me down. It wasn't part one. It wasn't part one. It wasn't part one for sure. No, <laughs> no. And for some people, it wasn't part two, even though I kind of like part two. But I think it's still better than part two. But yeah. uh, it sits up there, but it's not my favorite. So, yeah. the, the first, right. the, the technical first three. The one I'm, yeah, they don't even touch this movie. Um, three, <laughs> does. three definitely does. <clears throat> I really enjoyed the movie. Story was great. I, I kind of was upset that I didn't get some of the, the, the trailer stuff in there because like those seem like key drop. Like those, it's like you know if anybody had a saying, that's their saying, and you didn't give them their saying to put in the movie, so it was a little irritating. Right. But outside of that, the story was great. The way it carried on had its moments, but overall, I really enjoyed all the characters. I fell in love with a lot of the characters, oh, yeah. and it was just I mean so just amazing to bring. If anybody brought these characters in together and made it awesome, it was this movie. Um, in comparison, it's not my favorite Star Wars movie. I, I, you know, I was gloating today because everyone was saying, like, oh, it's the best Star Wars movie. And um, it was definitely up there. It was definitely up there. But I will have to say I do like uh, Force Awakens st- uh, more still. But yeah. uh, definitely mm-hmm. some great epic parts in this movie. Some amazing, captivating storytelling. Visuals. You know, action scenes. Um, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of my book. Nice. 8.5. Yeah. yeah, man, I gotta agree with you both. You know, there's a lot of things that they showed us in the trailer. First of all, they got everyone really hyped, and then you know, of course, there was a red carpet release that was saying, "Oh yeah, best Star Wars movie." I didn't see it for sure. You know, <laughs> I think that like for this new generation Where? of films, like Force Awakens, that definitely still holds it pretty high. Um, so, I mean, I, I did appreciate a lot of the characters, a lot of the new characters, really diverse uh, cast that they, they had in this one. So that was very original. Yeah. The idea for the entire plot of the movie, it carried on perfect amount of pace. Yeah. Um, there were some parts that were kind of getting, um, I don't know, maybe a little slow for me. But, um, you know, it, it still kept at that same pace. Uh, and that's the only thing I could really dock it for. The story was good. Characters 
for the most part were really good and I really enjoyed a lot of the Easter eggs that were in oh, there. Oh yeah. Easter eggs. I won't ruin it, but I mean like the Easter eggs, oh it's awesome. Um, Not to mention, I, yeah. I the cam I think it's called cameo, like when they when you get a return of characters from the originals. Like, right. You get to see these guys again, and, and it just like when you when you're seeing them again, you're like, oh my god, that's awesome. Totally. And yeah. so they rec you recall the original, you know, New Hope and Empire, and awesome. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, like, if if I really had to rate this one, I would definitely rate it at eight out of ten. Um, I enjoyed it. I would say definitely go see it. See it in the theaters. We all saw it in 3D D box. D box. Oh, yeah. Chairs oh, are moving. Oh, They're like oh, getting oh, shut oh, down. X Wing. <laughs> yes, totally. Oh my god. Red yeah. leader. Red leader. <laughs> totally. Right. Yeah. It was D box awesome. pretty good on this one. At yeah. certain parts, some of the, some of the parts it wasn't that great, but right. at at particular parts, you definitely felt like you were definitely there. So shout out to Cinemark for that. D box. Love it. If you guys have an opportunity to go see it in D box. Definitely go do that. It makes oh, yeah. the movie yeah. experience treat way yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your favorite characters? How are a favorite character? Let's go with a favorite. I, character. I will say one of my favorite characters was the new robot, the new droid that they put in there. It was a K two S zero. He's the really tall black robot <laughs> with the imperial mark on him, and he was just so witty and like literal. But I mean, that's funny. Everyone, <laughs> everyone in the theater in the theater was. Busting up laughing, but me, I'm like, hmm, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I know what he means. Yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> it's like, robot to robot, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Derek's like, he's, he's speaking logic. Like, why is everyone yeah. laughing? Drax <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. 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 But, uh, definitely. yeah, he, he was like a Maj Paj character of a droid mixed with Drax the Destroyer and Groot. So, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. It was like a little witty. I'm going to have to go with my Jin. Um, I, I liked her a lot. I, I, do, I don't like the, how certain things were taken away from the character as, as far as the previews go. Mm -hmm. But uh, I definitely liked her as a character. I liked her drive. I liked her motivation and her shift. She, she started off really iffy. And when she pulled it out, she just, she just, she, she started doing some cool stuff. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, yeah, I, you know, just the transition from her not wanting to have anything to do with the rebellion, and then her finding the reason and the underlining effect, and then the transition. She was probably the most transitional character compared to most throughout the movie in in developing her role in the uh, Rebel Alliance. And that's actually, that, that's what I like. She did drive the story, and I did definitely feel for her throughout the entire movie, so. I guess for me, with, <laughs> as far as, like, connecting with a character, I don't know his name, because I've only seen it once, but he's the guy with the battery pack. Machine gun. Machine blaster. gun blaster. Yeah, he was so cool. He was awesome. The way he looked at people when he, was, when he killed them, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he was just, like, the badass of the group, I felt like. Like, uh. <laughs> yeah. He was their rock. He was know? their tank, yeah. yeah. And, and he, he did not never miss. miss. He no, never not missed. Miss. No. I'm like, I would God, say the stormtroopers were hitting more on par this time around. Oh, yeah, yeah. They finally got to their mark. It right. wasn't on the first one. This yeah. guy, I'm like, they need to be trained by him. <laughs> because he don't ever miss. Yeah. He, so I, I would say so he was cool. the one I, I connected with the most. Yeah. You know what? I actually did not connect with uh, Jin at all. Well, um, I didn't okay. like her speeches. It's okay, Drex. Uh, her speeches were kind of weak to me, <laughs> and I felt like it, but a lot of people wouldn't have really followed her, but I guess we have to, we have to write it. that in there. I liked it. I but, liked it. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. She was the most, I guess the least, for me, if I'm going to jump right into the least <laughs> characters that I like. Least character was her. Yeah, it would be her. Okay. Um, I, I really, I don't know, like when she would talk, she had no like expression on her face, nothing like wrinkled up or nothing like she never really yelled. I don't know. It didn't seem like she was trying to rile the troops. As right. far as like speeches goes, if I had to compare to other movies, I definitely wouldn't say hers was like up there. But I'll, I'll definitely say if I had to compare her role to Daisy Ridley's role, Daisy Ridley definitely has tears yeah. above her. Yeah. Um, because yeah, Daisy Ridley. <laughs> um, I was thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And maybe that's why I'm yeah. comparing her, like, like I didn't like her so much because yeah. I'm comparing her to Ray. Well, that's what I'm right. saying. Like, uh, yeah. Force Awakens still by far is probably just overall. They're definitely yeah. different characters, oh, though, yeah. is the biggest thing. Definitely. And, uh, I mean, shout out to Donnie Yen. Oh, I'm glad they put him in there. He was oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. He's the blind guy yeah. in the trailer that you see. Semi blind. So good. Guy. <laughs> and that's why I, I, I was so torn. Do I like the robot more or do I like the blind guy more? <laughs> I, so 
I love the diversity, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. thing it was so it's diverse. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And they didn't shy away from that. I love that so much. Yeah. I mean, you're in the universe. There's aliens. Why wouldn't you have a diverse <laughs> cast? Who'd have thought, huh? Right. It, it, it really works. I felt like it, it, it felt like a real team that they had. You oh, know? totally. Yeah. Yeah. It was not like a, I'm the best. It was everyone was like, okay, I'm going to do my part to get this job done. Yes. Oh, man. And Definitely. it was so good. I mean, ending the movie, the transition to the next movie is pretty seamless. seamless. And it's... I won't say anything else. But <laughs> You're just going to want to go home and pop in episode four like right away. Immediately. So, yeah. I, I'm tired. <laughs> I got to drive home still. I'm probably going to put it on and fall asleep. I definitely time. won't. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am, but I feel you. Uh, so do you guys have any like least favorite characters? Oh, man. Are you guys just like everybody? <laughs> What's, what's his name? So I would have to say my least favorite actually was the casting character just because, I don't know, he didn't have much of an appearance and as a secondary character, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like almost him and Jin were parallels where Jin had a little bit higher ratio ratio than him. And, um, right. I hate I mean, to say it, but it's yeah. almost like if you took, if I, you took I, I his agree, scenes yeah. out, he, mm -hmm. it wouldn't really have changed much. And, and it almost seems like, you know, <clears throat> what they try to portray him as is, you know, Captain Castian, he's a... Uh, kind of like a Poe uh, kind of character where he's going out and getting plans almost, but he's more of a spy. He, I, I really yeah. would have appreciated if they made him more of a, like a 007 assassin-ish kind of character, but uh, you know, they there was more hype about it than what he actually did. I guess what I would say about it, if to, to kind of contrast that, is they kind of made it real world because... He was kind of, he kind of was like a, a 007 where he was doing things that he had to do to get stuff done. Right. It wasn't all like black and white. There was, he definitely had his gray areas. Yes. As far yeah. as like what he would and wouldn't mm -hmm. do. It was for the greater good, it, ultimately. It, it almost seemed like he was bitter towards the Rebel Alliance for, for like just what he had to go through. Right. He, he wanted to redeem himself for yeah. all the uh, wrongs that he's done and right them and, uh, you know. This epic battle, oh, but it was man. awesome. Love and war, it was man. good. It was good overall. It was good. I mean, this is me being nitpicky about it, you know. But I, I we got a nitpick. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's definitely a nitpick. It was still an exciting movie. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, I would definitely recommend people to go see this. If I had to say my favorite or my least favorite thing about the movie was that it was dark. It was definitely shot in natural light. So there's sometimes where the scene just just dark for no reason, like they needed some filler light. But I mean that could have been just the style they were going for. It was just the natural whatever was there on that day. That's it. Uh, but I would have liked it to be a little brighter so I can see a little more details as far as like what's going on in the background and stuff. I, I just I actually like the style a lot. Um, it's definitely different, contrasting from the, you know the the crappy three and then the Force Awakens. So uh, yeah, I, I liked it. Oh man, it, I mean, uh, and where it actually fits in this whole Star Wars universe is, you know, we have, you know, Revenge of the Sith, the third movie, mm -hmm. but then we got some other years after that, and then when comes this movie, and then immediately after Rogue One is A New Hope. So I mean, there are like, I want to say maybe like 20 or 19 years to be exact. <laughs> Right there. Yeah, it was great. The transition, transition you know, they, was they good. definitely yeah. let you know that this was a prequel. Yes. And not just like a movie that came before it, it was the story that came before four. Right. Like right yeah. right before you <laughs> see Vader walk in, that is where they leave off. Yeah, they're, so, they're they're really creating a gap, you know, leaving the you know, episode one, two and three, and then like leaving that twenty year gap and then coming yeah. over to this prequel right movie. it's how they got the plans yes you know yeah. and so i thought that was great i love how they left that that part open-ended to where we can have a movie like this oh totally i to, appreciated it it's yeah. like oh well how did they get the plans yeah so i loved it i, I definitely think everyone should go see it you're not going to be disappointed if you were no. you know on the fritz about it just walk in walk to the theater or go to the theater get your ticket and sit your ass down <laughs> and enjoy yourself you enjoy, enjoy yourself it. you will enjoy <laughs> yeah. it for sure. So, all right, guys. We are Break Room Blitz. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Christopher the Conch. Adam. And we are out, baby. The Force is with you. <laughs> <laughs> <Dun, dun, dun, laughs>